Hello, Muslims and non-Muslims alike recognize Ramadan as the most significant and holy time of the Islamic calendar. During the ninth month of the lunar year, Muslims around the world refrain from eating and drinking between sunrise and sunset, and they use their free time to recite the Quran and strengthen their bond with Allah. This is common knowledge for those within the Islamic community and those outside of it, too, but few people actually know the history behind such a significant month. Muslims with access to an imam will be taught about the events preceding Ramadan, but those who are new to the Muslim community or who are not part of it might struggle to find information relating to the history of the auspicious month. If you'd like to find out more about the history of Ramadan, please continue watching as we explain how it came to be. To understand how Ramadan became such an important part of Islam, we need to go back to the very beginning, 610 A. D. To be precise. This is the year during which an Arabian man by the name of Muhammad peace be with him meditated in the cave of Hira, located in the Jabal and Nur mountain close to Mecca. Whilst he was meditating, Muhammad peace be with him was visited by the angel Jibril who revealed the first words of what would later be known as the Quran. The angel told Muhammad Peban that these words came directly from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that he is the one and only God. At this time in Arabia, it was common for people to worship several different gods, but the angel told Muhammad peace be with him that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala was the only, all-knowing, true God. After revealing the first words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the angel commanded that Muhammad peace be with him recite what he had just been shown. Muhammad peace be with him couldn't read or write, but he was able to recite the words perfectly. It was explained to Muhammad peace be with him that he was the final of the prophets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sent to spread the teachings of the religion of Islam. Other prophets Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had sent also feature in the teachings of Judaism and Christianity and include Nun Noam, Ibrahim Abraham, Musa Moses and Issa Jesus. The night the prophet Muhammad peace be with him first saw the angel Jibril is known as Laylat al qadr the night of power. Many Muslims believe this night occurred on the 27th night of the lunar year which the Islamic calendar is based on, though some believe it occurred on any of the other odd nights in the final 10 days of the month. While some believe that all of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala teachings were revealed on Laylat al qadr many believe that the Prophet Muhammad peace be with him was not shown all the teachings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala immediately, and instead, he continued to receive revelations for a further 23 years following Laylat al qadr Whichever train of thought you choose to follow, the principle behind the revelations remains the same. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala laid out five core principles to the Prophet Muhammad peace be with him, which he said are the values all Muslims followers of the words of Allah must live their lives by. The five core values are known as the pillars of Islam, and they are Shahada. This is the first and arguably most important pillar because it is when a person declares their belief in the one true God, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Salat. Those who follow Islam must make every effort to pray five times every day in order to cement their dedication to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and strengthen their bond with him. Zakat. One of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala key teachings is that we must give charity to those less fortunate, and that is lamented in the third pillar, known as Zakat. Song. This is the pillar from which Ramadan is derived as it means to fast. Ramadan is observed by Muslims in order to target this pillar. Hajj. All able-bodied Muslims are expected to make at least one pilgrimage to Mecca the location where the first words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala were revealed to the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. The school of thought you follow will depend on how long you believe the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him. Receive the revelations, and this will also dictate the answer you believe to be true for the question of when did Ramadan start in history. Those who believe the revelations took place over 23 years are of the firm belief that the teachings of Psalm and subsequently Ramadan were revealed towards the latter half of that period of time, in around 622 A.D. To be exact. At this time, the Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him, and his followers lived in Medina after they faced fierce persecution in Mecca when they tried to spread the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. At this time, the weather was particularly hot, and this influenced the name of Ramadan when it was first revealed. Ramadan means burning heat in an ode to the time of the year it was first revealed, and this time of year marries up with Laylat al qadr which happened some 12 years prior. Subscribe to the channel and rate the video in the comments, as well as other interesting videos I have on my channel.